Many in this chamber know I was a police officer uh, joining Lothian and Borders Police in 1999, and I'm not going to pretend that I don't recognise some of the elements of the culture that are in this report. But I do have a real concern that uh, policing by consent, which is a central tenet of policing in the UK, is under threat from reports like this. And indeed, Scotland is not immune. The Minister mentioned Dame Ailey Chardellini, and she's carried out a similar report in Scotland. We need to sort out the vetting, but I think I have a real concern that there will still be people serving the police force today who should not be there. So what actions is the Minister taking to ensure that all forces are doing that? And given it's quite a fractured picture with 43 forces, does the IOPC need to have a role to ensure that that is expedited? Um, well, I thank the Honourable Lady for her question and indeed for her service as a, a police officer in Scotland. Uh, she's right to point out the fact that it's not just about vetting on entry, it's about conduct uh, while in office as well. Um, this is an area uh, which, again, the recommendations touch upon. Uh, including actually for the Home Office in relation to the Rule 13 uh, processes around people who are still on probation. But I do think, I mean, I've only been in post a week, but I do think uh, the area around making sure misconduct allegations can be quickly acted on and actually uh, performance issues more widely as well uh, is something that merits uh, further attention and it's something I'm going to look into.